and you notice that Amazon uh, offers whatever it is, a dozen different size things. The one at the top is the one they got famous for is now eight and a half cents per hour. Uh, be able to, you get about 1.7 gigabytes of memory and 160 gigabytes of disk. It's a 32-bit address space. But you can see it goes all the way from eight and a half cents an hour to two dollars and forty cents an hour. And at two dollars and forty cents per hour, you can get one with uh, it's uh, 64 gigabytes of memory and 1.7 uh, terabytes of disk space and lots of cores and things like that. So there's a whole menu you can pick from from what you want to use, but you only have to pay by per hour. You don't have to keep using it. So what does this mean? So what, what's the implications of this? A couple thought-provoking things. Uh, there's something called the Top 500 uh, Supercomputer Competition, where they see who's got the fastest computers in the world for running a benchmark. Uh, Amazon put together 290 of the, the bottom row one, the biggest ones that were there, and they were able to calculate that at 240 teraflops. So what is, where did that place them? That made them 42nd in the world, the 42nd fastest computer in the world at $700 per hour, right? Which is pretty remarkable. And so what part of this service is, if with just a credit card, you don't have to sign a contract, you can go in and rent the fastest computer in the world, or the 42nd fastest computer world at $700 an hour. So what's kind of the, what's the impact of all this? All right. How many, uh, you've all heard about the Jeopardy champion I, Watson, uh, which beat all human beings at uh, Jeopardy, and partly because it could push buttons faster than humans, but anyways. <laughs> it was also smart. What hardware drove it? They had 90 IBM Power 750 servers, eight cores per server. It's not the same as the, uh, as the ones at Amazon, but let's, let's pretend it is. So that would be like $200 an hour. So Watson for $200 an hour. So Pretty, if you were going to play Jeopardy at, uh, for $200 an hour, you could have the world champion at your service. So that's about as much as lawyers and accountants make. If you were to hire, a, to ask them to do something, you know, they, have, they start this little clock when you call them on the phone. It's about $200 an hour. So looking down the road, what task could AI be as good as a highly trained person at $200 an hour? Because you could rent it for that. And so, hmm. And then what's that going to mean for society, right? If right now, you, for $200, you could have as much computing power as IBM used, and that's what people get paid, you know, what's the implications of all this? Well, this is something you might want to think about and talk to uh, your friends who are studying to be lawyers or accountants <laughs> <laughs> to, to, make, to, to warm the cockles of their heart. By the way, in just a couple of years, something's going to happen.